are we doing? Uh, I'm probably going to call it a uh, a stream in like 20 minutes or something because I want to stream a bit of uh, Beastman as well. So yeah, that's fine. And then we could probably just finish it off in one more go, or like one more stream. Oh, rocket engines. Good, good, good. I guess we just continue down that that route. Or should we get jet engine uh, jet engines? Uh, you can do. What one do you think? Do you wish we get improved rocket engines or jet engines? Uh, I think rockets will probably give us longer range rockets. Uh, yeah. It improves the guided missile, so let's just pick it up. Let's just take a set of fighters. Nice. Oh my god, we have so many factories. Look at that. We have like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Almost twelve buildings are being built right now. That's insane. All at fifteen out of fifteen. We have our nuclear facilities being built. All right. Oh, we'll rockets have... building. Yeah, rockets are building. We have so many rocket bases as well. We should just be able to bombard the entirety of the UK with our rockets, right? Why are those only standing by? Hmm, that's interesting. I think some might be out of range. Operational range 500. Damn it! Foiled. My second row of rocket bases are not in range. Fire the missiles! Surely rockets don't need to see to uh, attack, so I might as well fire them at night. I mean, knowing Paradox though, that probably won't be a thing. Yeah, we need the longer range missiles. Um, right. What was going on? Um, Marines, that's what I was waiting for. There they come. Oh. Oh. You've got some hidden in. Okay. Um. Oh, what, my Spanish in my divisions in Spain? Yeah, yeah, I actually remember. I just, because that's when the Americans invaded and we didn't really have enough men, so I just threw them all into, yeah, into that just, to try and help um, them back. I just swiped them. Ooh, you, there. Japan want to send 140 divisions. Jesus Christ. So we could literally get like almost 400 divisions just from people sending it to us. Extra. That is gross. Nine divisions will be assigned. It's going to take 31 days. It's interesting. Our missiles aren't firing. Is it because we don't have air superiority? You need air superiority? Uh, I don't know, but I kind of feel like that would be a thing. How it like how it'd work? Because you need air superiority to fire nukes. Yeah, but these are just fire and forget. I imagine there's a chance they'd get shot down, sort of thing. But maybe you know, they can't be fired at night. I don't know. 
as usual, it um, it tells you crap all. Very, very little. Uh, I don't know, maybe because they're not up to full strength yet, they're waiting till they get up to 200 in the air wing before they really uh, get I've put them as the 50% the thing. That could be it. Oh no, no, yeah. they are they are set as no retreat. Pass. Not a clue. We lack sufficient intel in the mid Atlantic gap. Because the naval invasion sneaks the slightest amount through the mid Atlantic gap. Right. Submarines. Me half. Right, there we go. Now we just need the uh, required time. division. Might as well have them down here and ready to go. Oh, research. What do we want? Um, I don't know. What is there even left to research? Uh, there's another resource efficiency gain. There's... Oh, improved equipment free is pretty good. It gives uh, leg infantry plus three five percent soft attack. Cool. What it is then? How's our construction doing? Come on, Marines. Ten more days. Uh, if you want as well, you can take all the units I have in the fallback position on Spain when you finally land, just to go wipe out America. Uh, I'm driving down 15 Panzers and the is it 18 SS divisions. Nice. Yeah, so you can take like the 40 divisions I have in Spain when once you've landed, if you want. Oh, and I've got a ton of paratroopers over here as well. I should have enough to um, wipe them out and then potentially smash Venezuela and Colombia and start pushing inwards. Four days, three days. Hopefully these guys protect them on the way across. Alright, away it goes. Nine divisions of marines. Which is an obscene amount of marines when you think about it. What was it? Was it three divisions landed at Normandy? For Operation Overlord, I might be wrong. I have no idea. I'm sure it was considerably lower numbers than what you find in this. What even was Operation Overlord? Um, invading Normandy. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. You, you're going to get hammered in comments now. The uh, the uh, school English school system has uh, failed me there. No, I just never knew it was called Overlord. And uh, Market Garden was the parachute attack yeah, that went horribly yeah. wrong. It was what oh. the biggest biggest loss. 
We we uh, just sailed our nine marines past a division of American troops. Just you know, just like wave as we go past in their transport. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, Marines, you can make it. You can make it. It's starting to get out of destroyer cover range now. It's just the submarines protecting them. What silly resources do you get down here? Oh, it's aluminium. Not exciting. Uh, should we uh, start justifying on like Venezuela and stuff so we can make our way through to America? Yeah, we'll do it on Colombia as well. Research uh, jet engines. Did you just declare it? there's loads of them going off then? Yes, yeah, because there's so many like small countries in along the like Guadalcanal and stuff that we have to make our way through. And then finally Mexico, and then we'll be there. Right. One thing they only we... take like 25 days anyway, so oh, cool. So you're, you've landed now. So just literally take the the 58 divisions I have in in Spain and just move them in if you want. And that's like a good 100 divisions you can just kill everyone with. I'm just bumping the port levels that we've landed at up to max so we can get some supplies in. Yeah, I mean, as soon as we make it into America anyway, the supplies will be, because we can take so many ports that way. Panzers and the SS are crossing at the moment. You know what? We're invading Britain. Get down here. How long till we can go to war with Venezuela? Of August. Not long. Yeah, it's like 20 days, I think. Get the Marines on the front line. Oh, the SS and the tanks have just arrived. This is probably where I just run into monstrous supply issues. Oh, yes. No supply. Port levels are too, too low. <clears throat> Bump the port levels all along that coast. Oh, you didn't do Brazil. Okay. Yeah, we didn't need to go to war with Brazil. I just thought we'd just leave them. Improve relations. 
boost party popularity. See if we can't convert them slowly. Cool, so you should just be able to go on a massive tear now through the enemy lines. Because it's everywhere, that's everyone now. You can just declare war on everyone and just go. Okay. Tanks in position. Long supply is the problem. Double construction, finish these ports. Oh, now the local infrastructure is terrible as well. Idea what the Venezuelans have as troops. This could be interesting. Let's go. I mean, I doubt anything good, right? The enemy is stronger. Oh, that's not good. They've actually got quite a bit. Come on, tanks. Sometime today. That's taking so long. I think I've shot us with Christ, supply issues. 125 divisions just sitting in our port over there. Yeah, I definitely can't bring them across though. I mean, just plan a naval invasion uh, like to Caracas, their capital or something, and just try and land along the coast. Or you could even go uh, try and invade the the places in the north of Canada, the places the United Kingdom have there, and use that as a a platform to invade America. Yeah, the problem is you've got to get naval superiority. Um, all right. It was these guys. Yeah, I think I'll try a naval invasion of their capital with the marines. All right, cool. I think we supported supplies. No, we really haven't. Uh, balls. I mean, you managed to take it back. Now you can just push along the coast, maybe. But if you can, like, you can even just try and get to Panama or something as well. And now naturally Spain is sending more troops over just to really screw with me. Ah. I hate these people at times. Right, what do we want for the next research? Oh, our marines are still terrible. That's probably why they did so bad on their initial invasion. Um, I'm tempted not to trigger the wars with all the other people as well, just because until this supply issue sorted, they don't have to have a lot of troops to beat us. 
I mean, you can just set up naval invasions along here, though. And... Because if we can get into Mexico or something, that just skips it all, right? Just take out Venezuela, because we have naval superiority in that region. Yeah, so we can invade the south of Mexico. And we can just go in through there, maybe. Well, I've got to take out Venezuela now, because we're at war with them. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they won't take that long. You pretty much just have to take their capital and they give up, so... Yep, racing for it. Are they actually in a, an alliance, though? Yeah, they're in the Allies. But that connects more ports to me, which is half of our problem. Yeah, those guys are back in supply now. Yeah. A lot of these tanks are coming back into supply now, which is good. Low manpower? What? We got 1.76 million. Thanks, game. Yeah, apparently they think that's low. Oh, get crushed. No, that one's not happening. I mean, the Americans have lost 3.5 million men, or 3.05 million men. So, I mean, they must be kind of running into some issues with manpower. One would hope. Because we've only lost 1.6 in this entire war. Great Britain must be running into some issues, because they don't really have a lot to begin with. So there goes Venezuela. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm going to call that uh, stream on Hearts of Iron, if that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. And then next one, you can we can invade Mexico, United States, Britain, take out the rest of Siam, and then hopefully win yeah. the war. I think Britain's going to be the last one to go, just because we need the rubber to get the stupid aircraft down. Although, if we manage to call back a load to the US to defend there, we might be able to get to them. Yeah, yeah. I don't we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't think that'll be that difficult. I think we're... We're almost there. Home stretch. Yeah. Right. So thanks for coming again, Jackie. I'm not sure when fun. we'll next be free. We'll have to sort it out. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it there. It took us a little bit longer. I was just really busy the the previous gap of time we hadn't recorded. Oh, you uh, graduated, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, like graduation and moving back home and stuff. So I was super busy, but I'm a lot more free now. So I'm sure we'll be able to find the time. Awesome. Right, hopefully everyone enjoyed themselves. Thank you for coming and goodbye for now.